on the magic of shining light. Light Bright from Milton Bradley. Paradise with my super golden crisp cereal. Hey, it's the continuing adventures of Sugar Bear. Kids nowadays may not know this, but cereal commercials back then were actually sort of like, well, cereals. They were soap operas with cliffhangers and lingering storylines. Half of the commercials always ended in to be continued. And it was sugar-coated awesomeness! But by far, one of the weakest ones has to be with Sugar Bear. Just take a look. Now we're turning the tables on you. Call that sweet wheat on the double. Cause you got triple trouble. Will Sugar Bear lose his Super Golden Crisp? Well, gee, what the fuck do you think's gonna happen? Golly, could it be like every other commercial where he just eats the goddamn cereal and saves the day? Is that even a possibility? You can solve the mystery with action-packed Sugar Bear flip books. Look at that. They just showed you what happened. They don't give a shit. They know that we know. So might as well just come out and display it. I mean, is it even worth going through the flip book to see what happens? I mean, we all know what the outcome's gonna be. Go to the last page. We all know what it's gonna... Jesus. I don't care. I still love Sugar Bear, and I look forward to him kicking some more ass with his laid-back attitude. But, j Jesus. Yeah, Pop -Tarts. Ah, Pop-Tarts commercials were always the staple of the 80s and 90s, with its retro fashion and retro music. Real fruit, real <laughs> and, of course, that confusing-as-hell tagline. Oh, hot, cool, so cool. hot! So hot, they're cool, so cool. What does that mean? How can something be so hot it's cold, or so cold it's hot? It's like saying they're so great they suck, they suck, so it's great. I never got it. It's like one of those zen riddles you're never supposed to really figure out. What is so hot it's cool, but it's so cool it's hot? Pop-Tarts? It's not Pop-Tarts! You can get ready for something wild when you bite into new Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. EXPLOSIVE RADIATION! God, those things aren't fucking around! That nearly took her head off! Look at that! I think bits of her brain just flew out there! Lindsay, why are you late for class? POP-TARTS! For a taste that's better than ever! INTRODUCING LEATHERHEAD! Alright, now we're talking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys. Always a favorite. LEATHERHEAD! These are your targets! The friends of the Ninja Turtles! You suck at your Jumbo! Wait a minute, what was his name? You sucky your Jimbo! You sucky your Jimbo? That sounds a little perverted. Leatherhead! Actually, even Leatherhead sounds a little dirty. It sounds like the name of a gim from an S&M dungeon. Now you can get a pop-up display stand inside specially marked packages of turtle figures. Great for displaying turtles when they're not eating pizza. We just thought we remind you that the turtles ate pizza. As much as I love the turtle toys and the commercials, there was always one thing that drove me nuts. They never got the same voice for Shredder. The voice for Shredder in the commercials was never the same voice as from the show. I mean, they didn't even try. I'll take care of them once and for all. Destroy them! That sounds nothing like the original Shredder. Hey, while they're at it, why don't they go with this voice? They betrayed me, they didn't keep their promise, they tricked me and I don't care anymore. Whoa! Better watch the old blood pressure, Shredhead! You just a little chicken. Cheep, 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 cheep. How is your sex life? Great for displaying turtles when they're not eating pizza from Playmates, bitch. Dance club bands do the Barbies. Yes, notice how the Barbie in no way involves bending your arms or legs. All over the town, we're into dance club Barbie. Oh god, even that was too complicated for the doll to do! Look, for the dancing toy, could you allow just a little bit more movement outside of the I'm trying to step on a bug while I have a headache move? Got the answer, it's Dance Club Barbie! Oh, a spider! God, I need aspirin! Where is a Barbie? Now the Barbie Dance Club t-shirt and video with a special appearance by Paula Abdul. Oh, now that would be interesting! Oh, you know, you you try. I know you're trying so hard, but honey, I just don't think you're Barbie material. Paula, get to reality check. She oh, was no, gold awful. Quiet. She shouldn't be, be there. You're she should commit suicide. She was that awful. Me. She was just a god awful person. I it think she so should kill herself. You wanna make out? Later, I'm doing Seacrest. What's hot? Hot wheels. What's cool? It's not Pop-Tarts! 
light speeders. Oh my god, I hated these things. Anyone who had these, you got gypped. Okay, so these cars don't run unless you put these spotlights on them. And there's your problem! Why would you want to do that? What are these solar-powered cars? Who thought this up? So that means every time you put the light on it, it moves a centimeter. And you have to have that stupid light on it the whole entire time or it doesn't move. And trust me, it's a lot harder than it looks. You get to move a centimeter, then another centimeter, and then you throw the goddamn thing away. Super tight on curves. Oh, and you got those bridges where it always got stuck. Guess why? Because the fucking light wouldn't shine through. So you always had to push it with your fucking toe or something. God, I hated this toy. Take off with the speed of light. Bullshit. The future is here. Bullshit. Now, Bullshit. Light speed. Bullshit. So hot. So cool. Then you're ripping off Pop-Tarts. Who does that? Batteries not included. Not for use with some cars. You put it together. New from Mattel. Bullshit! Right, Transformers! Now the greats are back as classic pretenders. Wait, what? Now Wait, the they're people now? What, what? Now they're robots? Pretenders. They're dinosaurs too? What? Hey, what? Now the cars? What? Wait, how is this classic? I don't remember this. Wait, why are they people? I don't get that. Who are they? I... Well, that cleared everything up. Buy that! Show and tell time. Another teddy bear? My teddy's name is Teddy Ruxpin. Hi, my name is Teddy Ruxpin. Ah, the devil! Can you and I be friends? I haven't forgotten you, critic. <laughs> Why are alphabets fun to eat? Because you can eat critic! <laughs> Here's a fun game to play at home. Count all the phallic symbols. Squeezes on. No comment. I'm a skateboarder! I'm a skateboarder! New Pretender Transformers are here! Oh, these things again. Okay, let's see if they explain it any better. After the power, the power of Pretender Transformers! And look, there are evil Decepticon Pretenders, too. Pretender Transformers! Nope! Finally, we have found a cure for diabetes. What?! I can't wait for the day I make that announcement. Cutties! For over 16 years... No, Jim I'm sorry, you lost me! You totally lost me at that fake-out! I don't care what you're promoting! In fact, you know what? I'm gonna give five people diabetes right now! Yeah, it's the critic! Inject them! No, oh, just a little side project I got going. <laughs> Good God, I might be horrible. Introducing Slim Suit. Just put it on to take weight off. Okay, folks, get ready for the dumbest thing you have ever seen. Who'd ever think I could lose weight while watching TV? Do you believe we're losing weight just by talking on the phone? No, no, I can't. In fact, I'm going to call lying on that. Just put it on to take weight off. It's that easy. No kidding! The Slim Suit can help you lose weight by doing absolutely nothing. What, does it take off like an ounce of weight a week or something? Six hours ago, I was absolutely panicked because this dress was too tight. So I knew to wear my slim suit, and now my dress fits perfectly. Really? Six hours of wearing the slim suit can make you go down an entire dress size. That's incredible. I bet all you other idiots out there were trying to exercise or eat right. <laughs> Loser, though. And with amazing slim suit, one size fits all. Yeah, especially for people trying to lose weight like this guy. Most. One size will fit most. Yes, everyone can look great in slim suit. Okay, now that's definitely a lie. <laughs> look at this girl. You know she's got a date to the prom. It's simple. The more active you are, the more slim suit works for you. Oh, no shit! The more you exercise, the more slim suit will help you lose weight. Yeah, it's pretty subtle that way. It's almost as if you... DON'T NEED IT AT ALL! It's the shape-up plan you don't have to hassle with. Just put it on to take it off. Take it easy or take it to the max. Professionals also recommend these magic beans. Mixed with a placebo brought to you by the Tooth Fairy. When you're in Oz. For everyday wear or every night. 
you can actually wake up weighing less. No harmful pills or starvation diets. And all you had to do was sacrifice your fucking common sense. Because of the incredible demand for slim suits, supplies are limited. Yeah, we only made five of these because we thought only five people would be dumb enough to buy them. You proved us wrong, America! So order now to put Slim Suit on to take weight off. Your Slim Suit comes complete with the Pounds Off program at no extra charge. Wait, wait, wait. What program? You said all we had to do was sit on our asses. What, is there a time scale to sitting on our asses? Slim Suit works. I lose weight every time I wear it. Thanks to Slim Suit, I actually lost weight while sleeping. It truly is the work of an artist. Perhaps a con artist, if you will. Well, folks, I don't think I'm going to top this bit of insanity, so might as well just call it quits here. Thanks for joining me on my commercial special, and remember, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it. Zack! Zack! He's a psychomaniac! Zack! Zack! He's a psychomaniac! Bitch! That's a big Twinkie.